of YouTube. So, of course, the Ride Through Prophecy. And today's Super Bowl 40, 57. Um, now, I already made my pick. Um, I think Kansas City is going to win it. Not only Kansas City is going to win it, they're going to cover their spread. Um, because I don't see, I mean, I, I, as great as the Eagles defense is, if you go back and look at their, if you look back at the games that they lost, their defense isn't really that good. You can, you can attack their defense if you know how to. Um, do the Kansas City Chiefs have the weapons? You know, um, I believe Hartman is out. Not Hartman, um... What's his name? Um, damn. I think that's Patrick Mahomes' like third receiver. Not Van Der Esch, Not Juju. Not Tony. I forgot his name, but he's doubtful. Um, but, you know, as long as you got Travis Kelsey, I guess, you know, you can make, you know, water out of wine. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I believe he's going to have a big game. I think... Patrick Mahomes is going to target him a lot in this game um, because they don't have any big stud receivers like the Eagles do. You know what I'm saying? Um, most of them, yeah, Hardman, there you go, Hardman. Um, he's doubtful, so I don't think he's going to play. So Tony's going to have to step up. Van Der Esch is going to have to step up. Juju is going to have to step up. Um, and obviously, you know, and their running game is not good at all. Their running game is, I don't know what happened to Hilaire. Um, you know, ever since he took over for, um, for um, what's the quarterback, what's the running back that they had before him? Um, ah, the dude went to the, to the, to the Brown, uh, to the Browns. I forgot his name. But he replaced him, and he was doing pretty good until, you know, he just fell off completely. So, I mean, he's still in a rotation. It's just that he's not a starter. I think he's, he's more of a second or third string. Um, I mean, they got rid of Tyreek Hill, obviously. Um, and that made Patrick Mahomes throw the ball around a lot, you know. You know I mean, you don't want to just focus on the one person all the time when you have a lot of you know, receivers that need touches too, you know. Um, but those receivers that I mentioned, they're going to have to step up. Uh, the Eagles front is pretty good. I don't know about their secondary. Uh, they do have Slay. Uh, they do have... Um, they do have... Um, yeah, they. I think they just have Slay. Um, they have... a very good front four. They have one good corner and then the rest their secondary suspect. Um I remember I forgot what game they lost to. Um but you know that team exploded them, you know, exploited them. So I think you can beat this Philadelphia defense up. You just have to find ways to do it. Um I think Tony's going to have a good game, breakout game. Um, you know, he took to, to, he took to social media saying that, you know, this is the biggest, you know, stage he's ever been to, you know what I'm saying? Um, despite him being in Florida or, um, going to playing in Florida, you know, he's never been in a big game like that. Um, so he's going to seize the moment and, you know, he's just going to make, you know, he's just going to make his present felt. You know, um, both quarterbacks are entering this 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 game injured. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes with an uh, ankle injury, and Jalen Hurts with the shoulder injury. Now, obviously, he looked fine against my Giants. Um, so I think he's probably at like sixty to seventy percent. Patrick Mahomes. He has time to heal, so, um, but I doubt both quarterbacks are going to be fully healthy. 
Um, it's going to be a slow game. Uh, if I was a betting guy, I would pay. I would, I would probably pick over. Over. No, I would probably pick under, because I don't see a lot of scoring in this game. Uh, the first two quarters is going to probably be defense, and the last two quarters are probably going to be offense. And whoever has the ball last wins the game, obviously. So, uh, let's say Kansas City is up thirteen to to twenty. You know. And the Eagles need that drive, or the Eagles need this one drive to stay alive and to, you know, tie it, you know, or probably go for two, or tie it, go to overtime. Again, the Super Bowl never went to overtime. There's not one Super Bowl in 58 Super Bowls that, that, that has gone to overtime. So it would be great if the Super Bowl did go to overtime. Um, I don't think a Super Bowl will ever end in a tie. I'm seeing that all over Facebook. <laughs> like, oh my God, what if the Super Bowl ends in a tie? Like, that'll never happen, you know, because there's just too much rotting on the game. Now, if it was a regular season, yeah, you know, it's a regular season, you know. But if it's playoff Super Bowl, no. Um, But, you know... Two African American quarterbacks starting in the Super Bowl that has never been done before, so that's something great. Um, but yeah, man, let me know who you pick. Um, I got the Chiefs um, covering the spread. Um, you know, so yeah, I just think it's it's not Jalen Hurts' year yet. You know. Maybe next year or the year after that, but, you know, to give it to Jalen Hurts, you know, how long Jalen Hurts been in the league? This is, what, his third year? So, I mean, obviously it's a no-brainer to give it to the Chiefs, right? Now, I'm not saying that the Eagles are going to flat out be awful. You know, I think both teams are going to give it their all and their best, but I believe at the end of the day, the NFL is going to give it to the more experienced team. Because everybody on that 2009-19 Super Bowl, the last time the Eagles won a Super Bowl, obviously Hurts, not Hurts, Wentz wasn't playing. Um, he got hurt in the playoffs. But, I mean, I, I, I think that was the only time the Eagles won the Super Bowl. You know, and after that, you know, they haven't been back since now, until now. So f for the Super Bowl to, you know, go to the Eagles, um, and you have to think about it. The Chiefs did lose to the Bucks In that game, Patrick Mahomes was running for his life. You know, half of his offensive line was, was decimated. Um, and he was just trying to make something happen, and it wasn't working. So you got to factor in that, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, do we give it to the newcomer, or do we give it to the more experienced person who won MVP? Um, so, I mean, it is what it is. Um, but I think the NFL is going to do the right thing and give, it to, and give it to the more experienced team. The Eagles are just not there yet. I mean, they're a well-balanced team. Don't get me wrong. On on both ends of the floor, I mean, on both ends of the field, they're they're tremendous. You know, I don't know how this Chiefs defense is going to slow down this this Eagles offense, but flip flop. The Chiefs the Chiefs offense can move on the Eagles secondary. You know, unless you know Patrick Mahomes don't target Slay. He can go to the other side, which obviously they have struggled in pass coverage. You know, um, the Eagles play a lot of man-to-man. -man. They play a lot of zone. So, you know, and they blitz like, what, 58% of the time. So they're not really, you know, they're not really good in the secondary. So I can see Tony or Van Der Esch or Juju having a big game or... Travis Kelsey having a big game because if you look back at the three if you look 
if you look back at the the the, the playoffs, Travis Kelsey was targeted seventy percent of the snaps because that's his go to guy. You know, outside of the receivers that he has, he he targets Kelsey more than anybody. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but now if he's double teamed, then he'll probably go to somebody else. You know. But you know it's gonna be a good game, I guess. I mean, I don't, um, I don't really care who wins. Um, but you know, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.